Hi, everybody. So um, I wanted to do a little tiny live. I'm not wearing much makeup. Don't judge me. And I'll tell you why. Because, um, so as you know, I've been talking a lot about non-toxic everything in the world, right? We've been talking about all kinds of stuff this week. Parasites and heavy metals. And one of my biggest passions is really heavy metal issues. And let me tell you why. I had my whole infertility journal uh, journey and what led me to find out about breast implant illness was I had heavy metal um, testing that showed my heavy metals were like insane. So I truly believe heavy metals are adding to the infertility issues in the world. Okay, so what, what, hold on a second. Okay, so people might yell and scream. Maybe my mom will go and tell them I'm on the phone. So. What I want to chat about is that, um, you know, there is, there are choices to non-toxic makeup. I have a lot of people ask me, well, what do you use? What are you using for non-toxic makeup? So today and this week, I tried something new. I went on Amazon, which I usually try to shop small business, but this week I did not have time to get out. So I went and I shopped on Amazon for organic makeup and I found a lot of really cool stuff and I wanted to share it with you. I haven't used it, but I checked out most of the ingredients and a lot of them looked really great and clean. So first let me show you what I normally use because, um, you know, I was a makeup artist for a really long time, for 10 years. And the reason I bring that up is because I was always putting all the shimmer powders and all the bronzers that had, you know, high metallic content and, uh, L'Oreal had one that was like super amazing and I always like had a weird armpit smell after and I think it was because I was truly toxic. So that being said, I am, um, you know, I want to talk about non-toxic everything. So hold on one second. I'm just adding it to one of my other groups here. Um, okay, good. So we've got everybody on here. Thank you so much. And please tell me if you're watching the live or if you're watching, um, you know, the, a repeat later. So some of my favorite brands are the Juice Beauty. It's a little bit dirty there because it's been in my makeup bag, but I'm gonna go through my makeup bag and then I'm gonna show you what I purchased. So this is Juice Beauty. They are an organic line. One of my favorites is the Youth Cream and I'll show you how that goes on. I'm gonna do like part of my face here so you can see. So this one is the one I use and I love it. It's called Sand and I have another one that I got for when I get a tan, but so this one goes on and it's really, hello. I've got someone over here making lots of noise. So this one is really nice. It kind of goes on like, look at how smooth that is. So it just, it's like kind of like painting on skin. I feel like it's just like a nice layer and it doesn't ever make you look dried out. I actually had a little bit of something on earlier that I didn't, that I tried on right before. I cheated a little bit because I wanted to see what it was gonna be like. So this one, I'm gonna do both sides just because, wow, what a balance it is. So check that out. Okay, so that's the Youth Cream. Someone told me that they're not gonna be selling that anymore, which broke my heart. I don't know if that's true. I've been using it for years. I don't know why they would stop using it. They have another one that comes in kind of like a, a glass that I didn't like. And it kind of settles in wrinkles and lines and doesn't look great. So the Youth Cream, Juice Beauty, I don't sell any of this, okay? You can get it on Ulta, you can get it on Amazon. That's where I buy mine. But it's non-toxic and it doesn't have that metallic look to it. So a couple tips. I have been staying away from anything that has a shine or a metallic in it. Why? Because our skin is our second liver and it absorbs it. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up with metals in your bloodstream. That's no bueno, okay? So then also they've got, you know, lipstick colors, they've got lipstick pencils and, um. I do try to stick with the 80-20 rule. So not all my makeup's 100% clean, but I do try to go for that. Sable is um, is also the Juice Beauty. So I'm showing you the makeups that I like, that I use now, and then you and I are gonna explore together this box from Amazon of organic makeup that I just had show up today. And um, I looked for organic stuff on Amazon. Like I said, I usually try to shop small business, but you know, I was in a pinch. So. Here it is. So here's the Sable. This one's really great. This is a great concealer. I love how that looks. A long time ago, I used to do little makeup tutorials. I used to do celebrities. I used to be fancy. And now I'm happy if I put makeup on at a stoplight. Okay, this is like my first makeup of the day. So Sable is one of my favorites. I have kind of like, you know, a yellowish undertone and I like to make it more tan. So sand and Sable, 
This is Juice Beauty. I don't sell any of this stuff, okay? You have to buy it somewhere else. I'm just showing you what I like because non-toxic stuff is the best. Okay, so this is what I bought today that showed up. This physician's formula, I checked it out. The ingredients didn't look bad. It's organic. I opened it up. It smells like a tire, like an old tire. So that was one of my least favorite points to it. Um, I bought like the medium brown. What color was this? Uh, light. Anyway, it did not match me. It made me look really pale. So I don't even, and so there's that. I don't like that one too much. So here's some other lipstick colors that I'm trying. Prim and Pure. It doesn't have an organic logo on it, but when I read the ingredients, it looked pretty good. Um, remember, anything you put on your lips, you're gonna eat it. You're gonna ingest it. So it better not be caca. I mean, I see people with all these really cool lipsticks that stay on forever. Like, if those have formaldehyde in them, guess where it's going? Right into your digestive tract. I just put up a whole post about why our bodies are getting holes in our stomach and why we have IBS and why we have all these issues. I mean, you're literally eating your makeup when it's on your lips, especially reds. There's a lot of red colors that still have lead in them. I mean, is that possible? I thought that was done in the eighties. Me too. It's not. I just read something from the, um, it was on the CDC, I believe their website. Hey babe, will you get me some scissors from the, and they said, you know, we still have toys and makeup that are still very toxic. Okay, so this, I'm, I'm struggling, but look, I didn't have to rip it. I just opened it up, so never mind, honey. All right, so these are the colors I got. Super fun and fancy. Hey, babe. Hello. So I got two different pinks and a coral because that's how I roll. So fun. All right, so I'm going to try one of these on. Comment below which color should I try. I'll give you a minute and then while we wait. So these are the ones. These are supposed to be mainly organic. I got Dolly coral and simply pink and these are supposed to be mainly organic no fiflates no this that here look i have something here it's got mainly organic stuff in it. castor oil Organ i don't usually like castor oil because when i was trying to get my babies out i was drinking it and it was awful ah! but it doesn't smell like that so let's see okay so ingredients organic castor oil coconut oil sunflower seed jojoba oil Check this out. You know what? I'm going to put a picture of this in the comments after so you can check it out yourself. So, all right. So I'm going to try on coral. Let's do it. Will you get me a paper towel? Yeah, I got a squishy. All right. Oh, this is totally my jam. How fun is this color? Look at that. Hi. This is like a Florida girl color all the way. And it smells amazing. It smells like peppermint. Doesn't taste like peppermint. Smells like peppermint. That's awesome. Okay, and then I got these little guys right here. They brought that will delivery. Thank you, honey. Ooh, that, which one's that? That's coral. Ooh, I love coral. So look, so I got these raw organic face wipes that don't have any caca in them too. This is all, I'm, you and I are trying all of this together, okay? But I'm going for the non-toxic caca. I don't know how, these look like they're in two different rolls here. So let's see, we're gonna check out the other color too. These don't smell so great. All right, but they work well. All right, so then I'm gonna dry my lips. Let's try another color. They don't taste good either. All right, so we've got this pink and we've got the light pink. I think I'm gonna try that light pink. Ooh, let's do that one. That is yeah, called- I like that one. That is called Simply Pink. I like Simply Pink. Ooh, Ooh. that's a good one. Check I that out. I Simply Pink. All right, so this is mainly organic fun stuff. I got stuff with no metallics in it, so I'm not eating metals. Even, I know everybody loves their highlighters, but you're putting a highlighting, you're, you're putting it right on your face. Okay, check this out. All right, love this color, brightens the face. I look a little bit younger. Hi. Ooh, I All right. try some on after your video. Okay, Can I? so, yeah, sure. So next, what we're gonna do is open this, this up. Let's see, oh, I have scissors sitting here the whole time. <laughs> So look, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, so I found this eyeshadow that is mainly organic also. Let's check it out. So it is all kinds of fun stuff. So here we go. We've got no five plates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no talic, plant-based, hypoallergenic, vitamin E, oregano oil, lavender and cherry. 
hey, hey, hey. Yeah, the pink is great. Hey, everybody. Thanks for jumping on and chatting. Okay, so we're just texting out a whole bunch of other colors. So this is the this is the wild pink that we're trying on now. I don't sell any of this, okay? I'm just doing this because I'm hoping to inspire women to use less toxic makeup, okay? I don't sell anything. I'm just showing you what I found on Amazon and what I buy otherwise because I have a lot of people in my group asking, what do you use that's not toxic. I believe women, we are getting most of our toxins from our makeup because a lot of us live in it. Some people don't even wipe it off at night. All right. So, oh, I have it. Save 10% off coupon. You guys can try it out if you want to. I got mine on Amazon. I don't know where else to buy it. So let's see. Okay. So these colors are metallic. I bought the matte color. I thought, I guess not. So these have a shim, shimmer and shine to them, which isn't my favorite. I mean, I love how it looks, but I definitely prefer to have matte colors. So, thank you. The lip color that I'm using is Simply Pink. Hey, can you give Nana that charger for the, for the um, monitor? Get right now. Okay, good. Sorry, my baby's waking up. All right, so this is what I'm going to try. Let's check these out. So, we've got a pink. I usually use like a light color during the day. So, I'm going to do this light color. Ooh, that's nice though. Ooh, that does look nice. Okay, let's see. That's not bad. Wow, look at that, it's fancy. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of like brownie color in the, in the crease. I'm gonna try this mauve color here. Is it gonna tell me all the colors? No, but let's see if it smells. It doesn't really smell like anything, but let's see. All right, so that's nice. I mean, this is like daytime color. I'm not doing anything super fancy. We're gonna keep it easy. Now, I didn't get a blush or anything, but so I was using, for a while, I was using the Pure P-U-R, but their brand isn't as clean as I'd like. But there is still that Physician Fit formula. This is a Pure Mineral one, I'll show you. This one got beat up because my kids. But this is the blush color I like. Look at that. It's like a light, nothing too crazy. Hey, okay, there we go. All right, maybe you can go turn that monitor off so it stops beeping. All right, so there's this color. Let's try on the one more light color. So I just wanna talk for a second. Okay, so what we're focusing on when we're trying, ooh, it's staying pink. What are we focusing on when we're trying to look for less toxic makeup? Not shimmery if you can avoid it because it's got all those micas and metallics in them, okay? No mineral oil, no fiflates, no parabens. I mean, talc is huge. That's what one of the issues with that Johnson & Johnson lawsuit is coming up, that all those babies got cancer. Ugh, it's awful. So this is the stuff we're putting in our makeup. I mean, it's just awful, right? All right, so let's see here. So metallics are my favorite thing to stay away from. They also have organic bronzers now. I mean, there's all kinds of wonderful things. I probably should have done the lighter color first. Oh, that's fun too. These are like, woohoo, these are fun. That looks good. Mm-hmm. I like that color too. My daughter says, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I have someone doing my hair. Her name is Lori. She is awesome. One of my friends just said, who was trying to help me dye my hair one time because I didn't want to go in. A long story, I didn't want to wear a mask. I had a baby strapped to my chest, blah, blah, blah. So I tried to dye my hair alone. My girlfriend and I really tried. It did not work out. Anyway, I ended up with blue hair and orange roots and it was a mess. Anyway, so I just want to go over again. Okay, so the physician's formula I tried smelled like an old tire. I don't recommend yeah. this one. Yeah, I, they do have some powders that are nice. Um, I used some of their blush and their bronzers in the past, and I do like that. Um, you, you know, sometimes you can even use your little, your little palettes for, you can use your little palettes for tanner too. Let's see. Let's just do a little bit of that. Let's see. That looks can, pretty. Thank you. Can you go entertain your brother who's sad? Maybe go put on a show or something for him. We're almost done. I made the mistake of doing this out in the open where everyone can find me. Okay, so there we go. So check that out. All right, so we I just use a little bit of this stuff. Okay, again, this one, I'll show you guys. It's talc-free. Um, it does say natural, and it does say plant-derived. 
online it said organic. But you can't always believe what you read on the internet. However, this is still cleaner than some of the stuff I used. Again, I'm not selling any of this. I'm just trying to really inspire people to use less toxic stuff. So this had like 15 different palettes. It was awesome. And also the Prim and Pure has a kid's brand of makeup too. This is how I found this brand because my daughter had been asking me to um, buy her makeup, but I couldn't find anything that wasn't totally caca. So I found this, it comes in a cute little kit and she just adored it in all different colors. So anyway, I didn't know that they made adult makeup, but they do. So in conclusion, the Prime, Prim, and Pure is one of my favorite new lipstick colors. My husband loves these funky colors on me and he's been trying to buy them for me and they're always chemically. So I'm like, thanks, but I'm not gonna use this. Now I can't wait to surprise him when he gets home, I'm gonna wear the lipstick all over the place. Okay, and then we have, let me just, go over some of my other, other favorite favorites. So there is another brand that I love. It's called Hemp Organics. I forgot about this one. This one I love, I've used till it's almost dead. And I don't know where to buy this because I was buying it at a local place, Rockstar, which we love. And the guy said they're just not selling enough of it. So so I bought every color and I'll just, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like these colors on me. This one's Crimson, they're Hemp Organics. My little guy's getting mad. We've got Cayenne. This, this would look good on some of, this would be my grandma's color because that's how she rolls. Hi, everybody. And then this color, you can see I've used it till it's dead. That one's really pretty too. Anyway, so Hemp Organics is a great one too. Totally clean brand. Maybe you guys could go outside to see if Nana wants to take her out, him outside for a minute. And then we've got, maybe he'll go outside with you. And then also some of the other brands that I love for nail polish colors, Zoya. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I think we're getting sad. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna go check on my little guy. And um, if you let me know if you watched the, the replay or if you watched it live. Tell me what kind of makeup you use, if there's an organic brand that you absolutely love. Thank you, I love this color too. And um, I'm gonna do another review on some other stuff soon because this is so much fun and I get to play with makeup. Thanks guys.